below one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine bright. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, La Casa de Natasha. And uh, here we have it. We have our July planner lineup ready to go. You guys, I am so sorry. I have been a little MIA. The kids are off for for oh my gosh I was about to say spring break they are off for summer break and my routine is kind of just like film when I can <laughs> so um last week was their first official week off of school and we had all the play dates planned we're doing all the things um and I'm trying to get into some kind of like a summer routine or at least film ahead so please bear with me this summer as I kind of like figure it out I'm sure once I do, school will start and then I'll be back to like, you know, my normal schedule programming. Um, but it's July or it's going to be July, right? Where we got like two or three days. I have finally figured out my planner lineup. And let me tell you guys, this is all subject to change. Disclaimer, let me say that. This is all subject to change. However... I think I'm going to stick with this because I like this vibe. So let's kind of start off with, um, let's start off with some of the planners that I got in the, I think it was for the back to school collection. Um, so this is what I plan on using. Um, this is a mini, how freaking cute is this? Okay. So Look at the smiley face. First off, let me put these. Let me put these more to the side. Um, but can we look at this a second? <laughs> Hold on. All my stuff is falling. Okay, how freaking cute is this mini happy planner, you guys? This is my vibe. That we got the dividers. Love it. So this is gonna be kind of like my on-the-go, kind of like a pre-prep planner. Um, it's going to have like all my current monthly stuff in it, which will mimic my, my catch all planner. Um, but I kind of want to utilize this just for like pre-planning to be honest. Um, I think, I think that's what I want to utilize it for probably pre-planning or on the go planning grocery lists, um, stuff like that. I will be adding like another note section for grocery lists, but that's my thoughts for this mini happy planner. I cannot not use this like smiley face situation going on and like these really adorable dividers. Like this has to be in my lineup and I'm going to make it happen. So we got our smiley face happy planner, mini happy planner. And then this we are going to be using. This is today is a good day to have a good day. This originally was my like catch all cover. I wasn't using the guts, um, but I loved this like, hello, this happy planner belongs to vibe. I absolutely loved it. And uh, again, with the dividers. So this is actually, this is a vertical happy planner. Let me get a vertical. For you guys so it's vertical i'm gonna be using this more so for wellness it's gonna track my wellness um like journaling wellness fitness and this is where all of that's gonna live i think this is also a perfect cover for that like today is a good day to have a good day i freaking love that for wellness um so this is gonna kind of gear over towards my wellness planner so super stoked for this and I like that these kind of like match like isn't that so cute I think that's cute okay now for day-to-day -day stuff um I'm going to be using this simply layout now a sim if you guys don't know what a simply layout is let me kind of explain it it's basically just the right side of the dashboard layout and the left side is gone. There's no more, there's no like left side with the boxes. It's just another week. So it goes week by week. Um, you can add in notes, happy notes, a half sheet, which is kind of what I've been doing. But I think this is perfect for summer. I may continue on with this planner for the rest of the year, to be honest, because I love it so much. It's been working great for me. Um, and this is just going to track like my day to day stuff at home, like everything I need to do in a day. Um, kids stuff, work, 
uh, content, like when I have to film, like film today, whatever, whatever I got going on on these days, play dates. Um, this is going to just be kind of like a quick overall, this is what I got to do. Um, so along with this planner, I'm going to incorporate da, 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 now this I'm really excited about. This is the study habits. So this is actually going to be my catch all, like my catch all with everything. Now, let me tell you why I love this planner, um, is because it's study habits. Anybody can use it. You don't have to be a student. But when you turn the page, you have this like whole list of like plan, list which projects take priority, organize, maximize your efficiency, efficiency, prioritize and schedule your time, initiate, write down ways that can help you start strong, um, note to self, track and evaluate. And then you have this to do list on the right where it's like priorities, due date. I, you guys, I freaking love this planner. It is also an hourly. And one of my main issues, I'm going to confess right here with you guys, is that I am not good with time management. Um, I get things done, 100%. I can get stuff done. However, my timing on things is so all over the place that even though I get stuff done, I'm not, I feel as though my timing is, my time is not organized efficiently. And that's what this planner is going to help me with. So whereas this is going to list more of like day-to-day -day stuff and things I have to do, um, play dates, stuff that's going on, soccer practices, this is going to be like a detailed sketch of that. So like, for example, if I have work, it's going to be 7 till 12. And then maybe from 3 to 5, I film some videos. And then Jax has soccer at 5 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Like, I want to really utilize the time in this, these hours, so I can, like, really break down my time day by day, which also... A daily, a daily planner also kind of coincides with this as well. Um, but I'm, I think I might just focus on this and if I need a daily, I'm going to incorporate a daily, but right now I think this is going to work for me because I also have this. So that's what this planner is going to be. Um, I'm very stoked about it, to be honest, because <sighs> I don't know. I just love having an hourly planner. I think I just need it in my life. So these two are going to kind of co coincide as a catch-all. I may actually, when I set my planner up, this might actually go in here. Although I don't know yet if that's what I want to do. I just thought it would be cool to kind of see like, okay, this is my overview for the week. And then here's like how I want to time frame everything. Um, again, this may or may not happen. This is just me kind of like thinking and processing out loud with you guys. Um, and that's why I love these videos because I'm able to really like think things through. So hourly, this is going to be my catch all. And then again, this is the study habits. It came out with the back to school happy planner collection. Um, this is the Simply Layout. You can only find this at Walmart. So check your local Walmarts. These live there. You want to find it if you need it. I love it. Um, all right. So we got our Simply and our Hourly. This is going to be catch-all. Now, this is going to be my work planner. This is the Mini Sunshine. Oh, my gosh. I fell in love with this planner. Um, I absolutely love it. Isn't it so cute? I absolutely love it. Now, I'm kind of like on the fence between whether or not I want to use this as a work planner or as like a journaling, but I cannot not use this planner because look at this like, look at these like spine, look at the spine, look at these spine, look at the spine, okay? Let's just give it a minute. How cute is that? And then every month like, how stinking adorable. Like, I can't get enough of this. So I'm definitely going to kind of play around with this because I'm also thinking for a work planner of having like a vertical layout. 
which will kind of like kind of go along the lines with an hourly but I don't I want to put in my own times which is why I'm like I feel like a regular vertical layout would work for that as well so this I'm kind of still playing around with but it's definitely getting in the lineup so that's going to be like a work maybe journaling okay and last but not least so I'm going to be using a monthly planner. Now, I don't know which one I want to stick with for now. I love, I love this like celestial um, monthly layout. It is so gorgeous. I have the other part of it in my other planner. Um, but like, look how freaking gorgeous this planner is. And I want to actually use this, continue to use this for content creating. Um, just like video filming, goals. Um, this is what I want to use that for. So I, the only reason I'm kind of between these two is because I really do love the Nordics, um, Nordic brights, right? Nordic brights. It is so pretty. Um, and it's very, like a very simple layout. I love this as well. I just feel like this is kind of like more my vibe. So we might stick with this. We'll see. Um, and then maybe jump into this, like when this runs out, cause I only have until, December 2023 so this will last me the rest of the month and then I can kind of jump into this one um starting in January and then I'll have like the whole year so I think I may do that finish out this monthly and then jump into Nordic Brights um but yeah I think this is what I have what I'm going to have going on for my lineup. So again, we got content in here, catch all with the simply layout and the hourly. And then we have wellness and fitness in my, um, today's a good day to have a good day. We have my pre-planning mini over here. That's going to also be on the go. And then this is my, this mini is just the one thing that I'm like, what do I, what am I going to do with this guy? Like there's so many things. I'm almost even contemplating making this my wellness planner, but I don't know. This may just live as a work planner, to be honest, because I don't, I just love it. I love it so much. So we'll see. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. Um, but as far as this goes, this is my planner lineup for July. Um, again, I may change my mind. I may not. We'll see what happens. Um, but stay tuned because I will be doing another video where I'm going to be franking planning, franken planning, franken planning some of these planners, not all of them. I think definitely the work planner is going to be separate. Um, wellness will be separate, but I'm thinking about putting content and just like catch all together so stay tuned for that you guys but if you guys have already set up your july planner lineups comment down below let me know what you guys are using for the rest of 2023 and i will catch you guys in my next video bye